Welcome back, everybody, to Shop Talk. On today's episode, I've got the one, the only, Brady Scott. What's up, Brady? How you been, man? I've been doing good, dude. Doing good. Good deal. Keeping good deal. busy. Keeping busy. So, uh, for those of you that don't know, Brady Scott is one of the uh, most talented artists in Hutch, as far as I'm concerned. So, Aw, shucks. Yeah, he's been doing <laughs> stuff all over town and everything. Um, what's, what's some of the stuff you've been working on lately? Can you? Uh, lately, I've really been focused in Oklahoma. I've been working on jobs since before December. There's so much, like, city papers, and, and, and um, I've been a part of a bunch of mural groups and people that, like, you have to put put up like versions of what you're going to do and then they they say if that's good or if they like that or they like another artist or whatever so it takes a lot of time but i've got three big mural festivals uh habit fest in tulsa uh which is fucking awesome um, mm -hmm. there's a uh, live djs and food trucks and artists from all over la and chicago and cool. they come from all over the place it's really fun i'm painting there f um in may and also in may I'm going to be doing another place in Tulsa called the Kindle Whittier Walls Festival. And it's just sort of uh, this couple foundations got together and started, they're going to try to spice up this neighborhood. And so I submitted a bunch of designs for that. And I actually heard today that I'm getting that. And then in another spot in Oklahoma, um, in a couple weeks, a little town called Miami, Oklahoma, which is like, it's on Route 66. Yeah. And I have a big 66 festival every year. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to go down there and I'm paying it out. Uh-oh. Somebody's coming. Got the doorbell. <laughs> Should have locked, locked the door. Yeah. Oh, that's right. You can edit it out. Yeah, we'll edit that shit out. Yeah, and that's it. And then I got a bunch of little spots I'm painting here in town. And, uh, you know, I was working on something while I was trying to get something going. Right on, right on. So uh, tell us a little bit about kind of your origin story, if you will. You know, what, how'd you get started? And... Um, well, I was born in Arizona on a ranch, and then uh, about fourth grade, I moved here to Kansas, and I grew up uh, on another ranch out in a little town called, outside a little town called Eureka, Greenwood County. Mm -hmm. And I've just always been artistic since before I could, re you know, before I could remember, I was drawing and painting and and just always had that mindset. I sucked at sports, <laughs> so I was always off drawing, you know, and when, you know, when you're sad, you could draw, or you could draw to make friends when you're a kid, and like, I don't know, it was just something I always fought, you know, fell back on. And as I got older, um, I chose graphic design as a career, which is a little bit more creative, and um, not as creative as painting, but more creative than other jobs. And uh, I really enjoyed doing graphic design, and uh, I don't know, I got into street art, uh, in 2016, I painted my first mural in 2014, but then in 2016, I, I picked up a can of spray paint and just figured it out and, and got obsessed with it. I felt like a little kid again, like it just lights that, sparks that fire, like when you're a kid and you hear your new music for the first time or, or you see a picture or whatever. And I got really into it and just figuring it out and uh, I'm sort of still on that path and still trying to just create more work that's better and more of like a taking that kind of street art vibe, but but also like a fine art, kind of infusing it with like a fine art, more of a mature sort of grown up ideals, I guess. Right on. Yeah. So if you had your choice of like anything that you could do, I'd say money, space, everything was not an option. And I said, go for it. You know, what would you do right now? What? Um, I don't know. I've always had this idea of like building these these um, giant like probably metal so they could go outside boxes and doing a video of them like out in a field and and painting them and do like a time lapse of those and then have them up somewhere this is like a project that, I, that i've had in mind mm -hmm. i always wanted to paint a grain elevator that's like another the whole entire grain yeah, elevator. yeah yeah and have yeah. enough time and money to do that's just crazy because right. i got you know i got five kids i'm a family man and i got you know the day job and everything to help support the kids and and um Painting grain elevator would take forever. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like you're talking like a couple hundred thousand dollars just just in supplies and shit. Right, so, just in paint. Yeah, yeah, renting you know renting a lift and all that. Um, but there's a ton of them around here. I love painting in abandoned houses and going and exploring and traveling and like seeing that. And then sometimes I take objects and things from these houses and and paint on those. I like that mix of of uh, sort of new bright spray paint colors on top of like rusting old shit that has a history and stuff to it and mm -hmm. i just like being in those spaces and feeling that like i don't know if you're alone in some place for long enough that's in the middle of nowhere you just i don't even feel like the history and the ghosts and the people that are there and the land and stuff it just 
this is kind of the cool vibe about it. Kind of moves you and pushes you towards creating something. Yeah, like yeah, just it, it's just the cool vibe. I like being in those spaces and and creating those spaces and and yeah, that'd probably be like the most creative thing. I'd probably in that direction, anyways. Cool. Well, if I win the lottery, we'll set you up with a grand. Hell yeah, hell yeah. So when you first started doing kind of the uh, street painting and everything like that, and did something out in the public, what was what was your first piece that you did? Well, I painted a mural on it with uh, two other artists here in town, uh, Jocelyn Woodson and um, Julie Black. They're two artists from Hutch. We did a mural in 2014 on South Main Street. And I had done other like little murals here and there, but that was kind of like the first one that sort of kicked it off. And that was all with bucket paint. And it was really hard to get like in the bricks and stuff, but um, I mean, it was a fun experience. Yeah, um, I enjoyed it. And, and I was, what, what was the piece itself actually? Oh, uh, rooster. Okay. It was like on this old brick, brick building. Um, it was just painted a rooster and some like fields and a little church off in the distance. Yeah, I paint a lot of wildlife and birds and it's just fun to draw. I've been really into, I don't know, because it's spring, I've been really into flowers and stuff. Because I'm, like this weekend I went out and there's these, underneath, there's a bridge around here. And underneath it there's these big pillars that have concrete in them and they're just like rusting tin on the outside of them mm -hmm. and I painted these big chameleon iris flowers on top of it and they just they look really cool with like that beauty and the, and the ugliness of, of the rust in the pillar and the beauty of the flowers <clears throat> contrasting each other was, was really fun yeah really complimenting each other and everything yeah I think it was a cool project yeah. yeah yeah I'd like to definitely push my work in that direction more so do you have a project that you're like most proud of I'm always looking for the next thing. Next yeah, thing is yeah. always the I'm one. really excited about this this uh, this stuff in Oklahoma because I've got some really good sketches for them. Mm. I did quite a bit of research. A lot of them are in different neighborhoods with like one's a Hispanic neighborhood, so I kind of geared it with like a Southwestern vibe. And then the other one's like a plumber place. So I have a friend of mine, Jason Nines, like, who's a plumber. And I took, you know, photos of him like in an old school like overalls and like an old flat cap from like the 20s looking. And and um, it's going to be pretty cool. Hopefully. Sweet. Hopefully. <laughs> So I got lucky and uh, got you to do some um, of the uh, airbrush and stuff on some of my past Hell projects yeah, and everything. Man, yeah, you know? yeah. Are you still doing any of that at all? I love painting on cars. It's just, one, it's really hard because it has to be perfect and, I, and flat. And I love throwing paint around and splattering and drips and all that shit. It's, it's just my style that I've sort of been developing. But I think I could do that in the right project, but that's the other thing is coming up with the right project because it's always somebody's baby usually and it's their car and usually it's an older gentleman with a classic car and he has this very specific idea of what he wants on it. Mm. And uh, I just, it's really uh, creatively frustrating because he can kind of put, you can kind of be put in a box. And I did so many American flags and skulls that I just got kind of burnt out on it. Yeah. And I got more into, like I said, painting on walls and doing these other things that, that um, it just sort of fell by the wayside. But if the right project came along, man, I, I would love to. I love seeing my work like driving around, like painting a bike tank and stuff like that. I've done a couple. I'm trying to think of the last guy I did one for. It's like I did this cool Reaper um, guy on his, his Harley. And he was just a cool character that like old school dude, like had all these like badass bikes and, and he would like rebuild the motors by hand and like do you know boring and all that shit that I don't know anything about but it was just really cool he was like like has that real old school vibe about him and he just lives in South Hutch with his cats <laughs> you probably know <laughs> but I can't remember his freaking name for the life of me it was yeah. a couple of years ago but yeah, yeah he was a really cool guy and, and I like meeting people like that I like meeting old characters and old school guys like that that they're kind of dying out I think it feels uh -huh. like they Always. are like everybody's so homogenized and 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 clean and you know you don't have there's doesn't seem like there's a lot of room in the world for dirty old men anymore <laughs> and not that, that it was like a dirty old guy but like he just had that vibe about him you know what i mean like he what he was kind of an outlaw and that's what bikers were at one time they were outlaws now everybody your fucking lawyers have bikes and shit you know right. not but at one time there was like this outlaw dudes and they're all dying out because of all their bad decisions <laughs> and drugs and alcoholism but <laughs> There's a couple of them around, and they're, and they're cool guys that have crazy fucking stories, and yeah, yeah. and they know how to do shit. Like, who the fuck knows how to and build? And they don't care what anybody says or thinks about them. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. 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 Like he was building some antique bike that didn't exist anymore, and I'm just, mm -hmm. it was just cool to see. Doing his own thing with it, however he wanted. Yeah. Didn't care what the yeah. world thought about it or anything. And yeah. Yep, yeah, for sure. 
Well, I'm uh, super excited to get you started on uh, my wall here and uh, Hell yeah, man. get some Hell inspiration yeah. going on over here and uh, get me excited about coming in the shop and actually doing something creative myself. Yeah, so, for sure. Yeah. Let's spice the place up a little bit. Right on. So let's get to it. All right, man. Go. Wow, there it is, folks. Another Brady Scott masterpiece, and it's on my wall. What can I say? Man, it makes me so happy. 
I uh, have been wanting something like this on my wall for years. Um, just life in general hasn't let me have it yet until just now. And uh, I know this really isn't Brady's style. He doesn't go painting on trains every day. And uh, it's not what he wants to be known for. But that's the thing about somebody that's as talented as he is. He can actually take pretty much anything and put it up there on the wall. This is what I wanted. I wanted some graffiti art up there. I wanted something over in the corner that's kind of scary and evil looking. And wow, the clown really nails that. So everything that I asked for, he's got it right here. Um, I think it's going to really, really make a big difference on my personal attitude and uh, my ability to get some stuff done in the shop and uh, hopefully help me in a creative sense as well. So couldn't ask for anything more. Brady, man, I love your work. And if you guys are loving it too, go check him out on uh, Facebook. He is Brady Scott. And on Instagram, he's got Brady Creative. And he's actually got his own webpage, which is bscottart.com. And I'll throw some links up down below. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, and we'll see you next time.